Hello friends, Ben here for Giant Loop. Today I want to show you a really cool bag setup for day tripping on your Honda CRF 450L. This is my new Honda CRF 450L. I just picked it up, stoked about it. And uh, today I just want to run you through one possible bag setup and show you how I've mounted the bags that I have here on the bike. So if you have a 450L or a 450RL and you want to set it up for day tripping, trail riding, and you want to be able to carry your lunch, your tools, you know, your extra goggles, things like that with you, a different jersey, a sweatshirt, a jacket liner, anything like that, this is a perfect setup for that and I'm going to show you how I've attached it here to the bike. So what's on the bike right now is actually our day tripper kit. At Giant Loop we have soft luggage kits where if you buy multiple pieces at once, you buy the whole kit, you actually save 10% over buying each piece individually. And what we've got here is the day tripper kit plus the buck and roll tank bag. So the day tripper kit is the Mojave saddlebags. It is this the fender slash number plate bag, and it is the zigzag handlebar bag that you see here. And this gives you a ton of storage out of the way, completely not impeding your ability to ride hard and fast, as you saw in our How Hard Can You Ride with the Day Tripper Kit video that I made with Ryan uh, a year ago or so. And to that kit, I've added our buck and roll tank bag. This is the tank bag for people who hate tank bags. It completely disappears on the bike, you and you forget it's even there. But let's look at these individual pieces, and let me show you how they mount here on the 450L or the 450RL. So starting here at the front of the bike, we have the Giant Loop. This is a fender slash number plate bag. It's got the hooks and the rubber boa straps here that allow you to quickly and easily take it on and off the bike, position it where you want it, and then you just tighten these down like that and clip it in onto the top of the buckle there, tuck that out of the way, and you're good to go. Same here on the bottom. This is our, our rugged, bomb-proof trucker's tarp material. It is a fully waterproof dry bag. It is the same as the Possible's pouch, but we've added the boa straps to make it easy to attach it to the front fender here or to the number plate or even over the headlight if it's not gonna create too much heat, depending on your bike, of your dual sport or dirt bike. This works with almost any high fender setup, like here on the 450L, and this bag is just enough space to run. I like to put my entire tire changing kit in here. So tube, CO2 compressor, tire irons, and the wrenches I need to get a tire off and replace it, put it back on. All of that goes in my fender bag right here. So that's a great bag. It's a great choice for the 450L and you can see it goes right on the fender, no problem. No modifications required. Next bag I've got here is our zigzag handlebar bag made out of uh, really tough this is a, the same sort of nylon, Cordura style nylon that your riding gear is made out of. And then our trucker's tarp material here on the front. It has a zippered entry, as you can see. There's another zippered pouch inside, and this thing is the perfect size for, say, a cell phone. A small tool kit. You got room for your registration docs in there. You know, if you want to put your license or your off-road riding permit, whatever, that's this mesh pouch is great for that. And this thing attaches to the bike quickly and easily. Uh, it's got Velcro straps to go around the outside and then you use the webbing straps and the buckles to secure it. And it works really good on the 450L because it comes with these Renthal handlebars and the stock bar pad that comes on it fits great. It's totally out of the way. You can see it doesn't run into anything, not, not the fuel cap, nothing. It's not in the way. Great place for your sort of stuff that would be in your pockets that you're not keeping in your pockets because you're out riding a dirt bike. That is the zigzag handlebar bag, one of my favorite pieces of luggage. We call this the glove box for your motorcycle. Next up here is the buck and roll tank bag. Like I said, this is the tank bag for people who hate tank bags because it is completely out of your way. It does not impede your ability to lean forward on the bike or to get back when you're tackling rough terrain. It's small, it's just the right size for your pocket items. It's got uh, a cell phone, see-through cell phone pouch on the top so you can use it for navigation. And this thing comes off quickly and easily, just like that. And it has a carrying handle so you can take it with you when you're off the bike. And you can see it's got that clear cell phone pocket on the top, which is, has a separator inside to divide it from the rest of your bag. So you just put your phone in there, you can use it for navigation, and there's ample space in here. You can see I've got my registration docks, I got a chapstick, a cover for my phone, I got a spare neck gaiter. I have a ton of room in there. So uh, that's a great space to stash those items that you want to take with you out on the trail, a small toolkit, whatever. This is also made out of our trucker start material, bomb proof material, very sturdy, very out of the way, handy little item. So I don't like to cut my straps because I never know which bike I'm going to move the bag to in the future. So plenty of strap keepers here to hold all those down. So here on the 450L, you can see the buck and roll mounts like this. I just ran the strap down underneath the frame here around the back side and back up underneath. And then on the front, it just goes down underneath the neck of the motorcycle. You can see it here. That's a very quick and easy mount. It took me like two minutes to put that on there. And finally, the Mojave Saddlebags. So the Mojaves have 12 liters of storage, six on each side. 
and that's plenty big enough for a toolkit, your lunch, whatever on one side. You can get a one gallon armadillo bag to take fuel with you in one side of this. I have had these particular bags, I think for three years now, I've had them on several bikes. This is my day tripping go-to setup when I'm gonna be up in the woods by myself and wanna make sure I have all the tools and everything I need in case I have a problem. These are again made out of our bomb proof trucker's tarp material. These are mostly waterproof. Uh, I've had them out in all kinds of weather conditions, but you can add dry pods to them to make them fully, fully waterproof just for that peace of mind. And you can see it attaches in three places really. So there's two straps just like this. They're identical on either side. So this front strap just goes down and around the frame here on the 450L, and I've got it far enough from the exhaust that I'm not worried about it. Generally, if it's not touching the exhaust, you're probably okay. But what I'm gonna do is add our giant loop mounts. They're just not here yet. I'm gonna put a giant loop mount right here, and that's just gonna make it so I can quickly and easily take this on and off without having to run the strap all the way around the frame. There's nothing wrong with this. It just takes slightly longer, and I'm always moving these bags between bikes, so I like to have those quick release mounts. So they're coming. I'll link those for you. This bike doesn't have passenger pegs, but you don't need them for the Mojave. And and then on the back, it's just hooked on the fender with fender hooks. There's no rack on this bike. So this bike is mostly stock. There's a fender eliminator that was that the previous owner added, but there's been no mods that aid in mounting. So I just want to show you how I mounted this on the stock bike. So the Mojave comes with a pronghorn strap and these fender hooks that you see here. And these fender hooks work great with the 450L with the stock setup. They just, you can see the hook. It just goes and clips right underneath the red part of the fender. You do that on both sides and then you just take the pronghorn strap and tighten it down and that thing it's not going anywhere and then i just take the end of the strap and tuck it back through the hole on the mojave uh, and that is the easiest way to mount these to the stock 450l when i get a rear rack for this i'll just run the pronghorn strap through the rear rack and it'll be just as good but you can see it's sturdy you see it's moving the bike no big deal so it's the clips here plus the straps around the frame on the front and it's quick and easy. I put this on the bike in about four minutes. So that is my full sort of day tripping trail riding setup here on the 450L with the Mojave, the Buck and Roll, the Zigzag, and the Fender bag. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I'm going to do another video where I do a full motorcycle camping setup on this bike using the Coyote saddlebag, uh, probably the Rogue dry bag, and a bigger tank bag like the Diablo. So stay tuned for that. Please consider subscribing to the channel for more gear overviews and other how-tos, things like that. And don't forget that all YouTube subscribers save 10% on giant loopmoto.com with promo code subscriber. If you have questions about gear, gear setups, not sure what will work best for your bike or your needs, consider using the chat now feature on giantloopmoto.com to be connected to one of our gear gurus who will walk you through the entire process. Make sure you're picking out exactly what you need. All of our products are backed by our limited lifetime warranty and all orders over $75 from giantloopmoto.com ship for free. Thank you for watching. Go light, go fast, go far with Giant Loop.